What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. Yeah, we say, guys, how you living out there? Shout out to the free thingers, of course. Shout out to everybody that's been following us on Defter Radio, our Instagram and DefterRadio.com, our website. Make sure you follow us on both. It's a great way to support the channel and a great way to kind of get in tune with us and get reactions in front of us because that's pretty much where we spend the vast majority of our time these days. The link for both will be in the description below. And as always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all because you get all our videos as they drop. Up and coming artists, man, you know what to do. Click the link in the description. We'll do about 60 seconds of your song in front of one of our up and coming videos. Get you some exposure, baby. So if you are interested, make sure you check that out, man. All right, man. So getting back to little Yachty, man. What do we do? Half Doing Dope a couple weeks ago? Something like that. Check that reaction out if you haven't seen that. Half Doing Dope by Lil Yachty. Um, and the name of this song today is The Secret Recipe uh, featuring J. Cole, the one and only, man. You know we had to cover that. Full disclosure. I have been hearing that Cole, y'all blow us up. The funny thing is I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to understand. We can understand. You guys always give us energy with J. Cole, right? But there's a certain level of energy that we get when y'all all, collectively, the general, when I say collectively, the motherfuckers that know what's going on with rap, we know who those are in our, within our community. I can feel it when he really, when, when he probably really went in. And that's what y'all are saying he did with this. Now, I don't always agree with y'all. You're like, oh, he's killing every feature. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> he's killed a lot. He, I like this. I don't like that. I like that. Don't like that. But we'll see where this one falls at. But yeah, it's, it's been getting some buzz like he, that, that he went crazy. Let's get into it. The secret recipe. Lil Yachty and J. Cole. Oh. Allegedly. They figured out that I'm the secret recipe The baddest hoes gon' test to eat and blame the high for wanting sex I never wanted peace, fuck all the ops I support Malcolm X, the stack of chains is just a front Overtaxed and underwhelming, your jeweler pool Let me start it again Yeah, I just, I just have to start it again I'm sorry I, I just <laughs> No reason? There's no reason He was going, he was going, he was going in It huh? just felt ramblish, you know what I'm saying? He was just, yo, yeah, going in what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a joke Oh, okay. I was like, what you mean going in? I need to know. I need to know what it is, man. Let me start that back up because it's just the, his approach. Let me, we'll start that back up. Oh. Allegedly. They figured out that I'm the secret recipe The baddest hoes gon' test to eat and blame the high for wanting sex I never wanted peace, fuck all the ops I support Malcolm X, the stack of chains is just a front Overtaxed and underwhelming, your jeweler pulled the major stunt I don't smoke weed, already blunt All of my cars I had to hunt My dog a young as hell, but still a step We call him baby runt like window shoppers I see through every front, I speak out what I need I pussy everything I want I block out anything I hate It's still the homie, still unpaid The notice went Unseen, the tenants too relaxed, the standards have collapsed. They wrote me in with lame, they treat me like I'm them. They hate I overcame, refuse to pat my back, refuse to shake my hand, refuse to give me props when I am not around, refuse to act like I ain't shift the sound, like I ain't push the culture, like several vultures ain't come after me. Like several vultures ain't come after me. Still, I keep P. Yeah, we still digress. You said, hmm, Ryan, and I, I want you to give me some feedback. Because you, you, I, I got something to say yeah, about Yeah, well, you. Let, let me first say uh, this. Bef let me say this before I get into it. And those of you that watch the channel know that I say this about um, Lil Yachty, man. Is I'm just not a fan of the way he sounds, man. Now that we know that, I'm blocking that shit out. I'm just listening to, I'm trying to pay attention to what he's actually saying. He said, uh, I never wanted peace. Fuck all the ops. I support Michael Max. Uh, the stack of chains is just a front. He's all overtaxed and underwhelming. Your jeweler pulled off a major stunt. I think that's cool, right? I think, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's no, all. I'm, I'm laughing at, oh, okay. the, I'm laughing at the, the line. The line itself is interesting. Right? Yeah, 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 your you jeweler, know? yeah, he hit a lick on you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Overtaxed and underwhelming, right? I don't smoke weed. I'm already blunt. You know what I'm saying? I'm already blunt. I already speak my mind. I thought that that's a cool little line, right? But blunt, obviously, you, right. know, you smoke a smoke blunt. blunt right. Like window shoppers, I see through the front. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Window front, you know, when you go to a, a retail establishment, they have a window front, you know, but I see through the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like a window shopper that's seeing, you know, the shit that's on sale. I In see right. Front. I see you. I see through y'all, your front, man. I see, I see the real you is what he's saying. I think that's a, a cool line. Now, I don't like the way he sounds, and I think... If I wasn't doing this video, if I wasn't in this setting, as soon as I heard the way he sounded on this, it's a skip for me. Just to be, just <laughs> if, to if be I honest. wasn't at work. 
That like a motherfucker talk crazy to you at work. Boy, if I wasn't at work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but because I'm at work, I'm going to be a little bit more calm yep. and be more respectful. The standards have collapsed. They wrote me in with the lames. They treat me like I'm them. They hate that I overcame. Refuse to pat my back. Refuse to shake my hand. Refuse to give me props when I'm not around. Refuse to act like I ain't shift the sound. And then he ended it by saying, you know, like several vultures didn't come after me. Mm-hmm. Now that, I'm going to be honest, man. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention. That is the most content driven thing I've ever heard Lil Yachty say. Yeah. I really do. I feel like I'm actually getting a point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. In, in, in the writing here. Um, y'all have to help me out. You know what I'm saying? Like with, with the whole pushing the culture sound forward. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Hey, I'm out of the loop with Lil Yachty. Maybe he has been very inventive. I will say that I do think his sound. You know, even the Broccoli song that, you know, I'm not really a fan of. Even the Seminole thing that he did. Uh, we did a reaction to the Seminole and some of the other stuff of her Lil Yachty. I think that it's kind of been different. You know what I'm saying? So when he says, like, I didn't push the sound, maybe that's something I can give him credit for. But I have to really delve into Lil Yachty's yeah. material. So uh, admittedly, I'm not locked in. I'm yeah. not in, in tune with Lil Yachty. But he said here, you know, they put me in with the lames and, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? They, they don't pat me on the back. They don't give me my credit is what he's saying. They're not right. recognizing me for what I've done. And yeah, I'm one of them. I am yeah. they. Yeah. Yes, I'm they. Yeah, I, I, put him, I, I put him in with the length. Yeah, I do. I just yeah. don't think uh, Lil Yachty's very good at what he does just as a rapper. I, I'm not in a position to say definitively that I just don't think he's done anything. You know what I mean? So give us, give me more. Give me some other songs from um, Lil Yachty. I heard the Walk to Poland, that little snippet. That was interesting. But, you know, I haven't really delved into him. So give me some feedback on that. But I think that's what he was he was addressing, man. It's just like, you know, they, they, they're confusing me for the other trash dudes that can't rap that mumble and that that are just vultures of the culture that are not contributing to the culture they came in and used my sound and vultured off of my sound is what i think he's saying yeah let's keep it going they come after me still i keep it yeah. p yeah we still digress and i'm playing checkers I ain't playing chess because i don't go around on niggas we go over niggas i show you okay. niggas i'm personally nothing like you plus i never liked you I'm rich as hell, I'd never fight you. I have somebody snipe you. My doggy lucky on the edge, holding on by a thread. Just like a kite, it wouldn't cost a price. And even if it did, it'd always be right. Just like I'm Bob Barker. When I speak, pay attention. Go over my words like highlight markers. My only celebrity crush is Nikki Parker. They said I got a type. Said all my hoes, they look the same. They said they look too light. Pee my cup, bet you couldn't tell that it was Sprite. I give a fuck about her face. She walking with a bamski, I'm a strike. Yeah. You know what? I'm a Let's strike. Go back to one line. Sus. Before like J. Cole's gonna get on it. Before J. Cole gets started, man, I wanna um address a, a line that I really liked a lot, man. He said, Yeah, I digress. I'm playing checkers. I ain't playing chess because I don't go around you dudes. I go over, right? I go over you okay. guys, right? So I like that line. I thought that that was... I like that line, too. I thought that was a hard line. Yeah, his flow is terrible, though. It, it's just terrible on this yeah. to me. Now, I understand that rap has gotten to a point where offbeat is on beat. That's the new onbeat is being right, offbeat. Right, right. You see that with a lot of Chicago drill rap. You know what I mean? They're kind of yeah, offbeat. You see that with so T. True. You see that with T Grizzly. Mm-hmm. T Grizzly is like offbeat, but kind of on beat at the same time. So I want y'all to know that I know that that's a thing. I understand that that's a thing in rap to be offbeat deliberately. And that kind of attributed to your style. I just don't like the way it sounds. That's yeah. the bottom line. I just think it doesn't sound good because, yes, conventionally speaking, being on beat is is what music has always been about. So just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to. T- I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> so if you're on beat, yeah, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, but let's let's keep it going. But overall, man, that's better than what a, a lot of what I've heard from Lil Yachty. He uh-huh. actually has something for us to talk about. So let's keep it going. That it was Sprite. I give a fuck about her face. She walking with a bamski. I'm a strike. Yeah. I'm a strike. Sauce. I'm a strike, huh? Cole and Yachty coming for their respect. Come and pay your debt. Just like a travel pillar, we at your neck for the way you slept. It's nuanced, but I see hella influence in the way you dress, the way you sound, the way you try to move and try to stay abreast on all the latest flows and latest tones from Generation Next. Y'all chasing relevance, it's evidenced by the way you step. As for me, I cook so masterfully, ain't gotta pay a chef. I'm older now, but still I'm cutting edge. I'm like a bayonet from out the veil. We OSHA certified. You gotta wear your vest. Too many homicides, a lot of sliding. They good making decks thanks to god i made it out the city most would say i'm blessed my greatest flex is that i made a milli feel like i'm bangladesh i hate the press refusing interviews whenever they request niggas fake progressive and woke i started saying you see the difference 
You see the difference, man? Thank God J. Cole was on this track, man, because I just still don't like the beat. Let me, let me be clear. I still don't like the beat, and I don't probably, this is probably not going to get any kind of playtime outside of the channel, but Jesus, I'm so glad that he, uh, J. Cole came in and kind of gave his own flow. Just like a travel pillow, we at your neck with the way you slept, yeah, right? Awesome. I like that, right? And the and the flow and how he's uh the, again the cadence and how he's delivering that I love that man so travel pillow you know you go to sleep when you're on a plane and shit like that or a bus or a train or whatever you at um so you know, your neck and you're gonna you're gonna use it for your neck right he's on all but but we at your neck you know what I'm saying come and pay your respect like dude we we really uh bombing on this shit you know what I mean we at your neck with this shit but I see hella influence in the way you dress, the way you sound, the way you move. You know what I'm saying? You try to stay abreast on the latest flows and the latest tones from Generation Next. That is a hard ass line, man. That is dope. And the way he said that was super fucking cool, man. And I feel like what he's saying there, man, is whether you know it or not, if you're a new up and coming rapper, man, you're still kind of chasing a sound. And it's, if it's not genuine, you may be doing a little bit more damage than, than good. And you may not even know it. This could be applied to anyone, young or old. I feel like even old artists. I see, I see this nuance. I see what you're trying to do. You're chasing relevance. It's evidenced by the way you step. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it could be applied to old dudes, dude, that, that's, that's trying to jump into the next tones and trying to stay relevant, but it looks crazy. It looks like you're out of your depth. You're mm -hmm. out of your element. And, um, and we knew you for being original. We knew yep. you for being like a trendsetter. But now you're hurting your legacy. You're hurting your brand by trying to keep up with these flows. There's nuance in it, though. You know what I mean? In addition to this, these new artists that are trying, not coming in the game that are not bringing anything new to the game either. They're just kind of going along with whatever right. the latest tone is. It's nuance, but I see hella influence in the way you dress, the way you sound, the way you try to move and try to stay abreast on all the latest flows and latest tones from Generation Next. Y'all chasing relevance, it's evidenced by the way you step. As for me, I cook so masterfully, ain't gotta pay a chef. I'm older now, but still I'm cutting edge. I'm like a bayonet from out the veil. We OSHA certified. You gotta wear your vest. Too many homicides, a lot of sliding. They good at making decks. Thanks to God, I made it out the city. Most would say I'm blessed. My greatest flex is that I made a milli. Feel like I'm Bangladesh. I hate the press. Refusing interviews whenever they request. Niggas fake, progressive, and woke. I started saying less. I had to stop it. Peaked how they profit off of racial stress. Some activists got so rich they probably wish we stay oppressed. Studio steppers moving extra on songs fake and rep. Only breaking bad in the lab. Thought y'all was making meth. Niggas making threats and I laugh. That's cause you ain't a threat. Don't ask how I feel about no rappers. Shit they okay, I guess. Incoming car, press the button. The one that say accept. He FaceTime to ask for a feature and saw the face of death. I'm on your song, your streams going up. Not quite the Drake effect, but don't complain, bitch. Take what you get and cut the label check. My table set. I dine on your favorite. One verse will take his breath. I probably put more niggas on pause than Cam and Mason Beth. My agent get a whole lot of calls. It's like he paid the ref. These bitches out here looking like Steph on a late contest. Wide open, shooting they shot. Don't don't even waste your breath. I been stopped fucking you thoughts. Ain't got no patience left. Say that shit for one of them niggas that rock the fake protects my paper stretch. Just like a Laker before he break a sweat. Sign the greatest yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we go, I'm going to agree with y'all on that J. Cole verse this time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I got it right this time. I, I think he cooked on that. Yeah, he, he did. He cooked on that one. Dude's fake, progressive, and woke. He's all, I started saying less. He's all, I had to stop it. I peeped how they profit off of racial stress. Mm. Some activists got so rich, they probably wish they stayed, well, we stayed oppressed. I mm. fucked that up, but we stayed oppressed, right? I love that, man, because um, I feel like, you know, during this whole like movement, man, during COVID and all this other stuff, man, and the Black Lives Matter, and so much shit was was uh, so racially motivated, man. And um, I feel like that was an opportunity, right? We talk about certain rappers that are very good at capitalizing on opportunity, and I'm I'm not gonna say any names, but um, and we're talking about rappers that can really rap, man, but they see an opportunity to profit off of 
the climate of what's going on. When he said that some activists got so rich, so many people got so rich off of this, they're like, man, we, we need to run this shit back. We need to cause another fucking <laughs> big, we, we want to stay in, in where we're at, you know, in, in this kind of culture. We're going to run this oppression back. <laughs> yeah, we got to run this shit back. We got to do something to cause some kind of racial fucking Divide. outrage, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So that way we can just keep, you know, like get on TV and, you know, and really kind of promote this as a business. I probably put more dudes on pause than Cam and Mason Beth. Mm. So, you know, Cam and Mason. Obviously, shout out to Cam and Mace, man. They have their own podcast. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, the, the Harlem thing, pause came from Harlem. Dame mm -hmm. Dash, I think, said he started the, the term pause, mm -hmm. which means if you say something questionable, we won't go into what questionable means. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know, <laughs> then the word pause is used. But what Cole is saying is I put a whole bunch of people on pause. It's coming off of him saying, you know, they they accept the call and see the face of death. Uh -huh. Like, I put a lot of careers on hold, man. They, they, had, to, they had to pause. Whatever mm -hmm. momentum they had going, whatever motion they had, they had to be paused mm -hmm. because my I was just killing them on their own shit. My agent get a whole lot of calls. It's like he paid the ref. You know, a referee in basketball, he's giving a whole bunch of calls to someone. It's like, damn, this motherfucker's paid off. Did he get paid like off? Damn. <laughs> like, damn, you know, another foul? And his agent's getting a whole lot of calls for him to do features and do business, right? These chicks out here looking like Steph on, on a late contest. <laughs> I love that line. That was hard. Because the imagery in that line, right? Like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> They're desperately trying to get to Steph, but it's too late. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's Steph uh -huh. Curry. He's going to get the shot off. Uh -huh. But he also said wide open shooting a shot as well. Uh -huh. So it's a play on, you know, Steph being wide open shooting a shot. Uh -huh. But they wide open. They're open. Open off a of cold. Yeah. And they're shooting a shot. The term shooting a shot comes from trying to uh, court someone, basically, mm -hmm. right? You know, you're trying to get in someone's radar romantically, I guess you could say, trying to date somebody. Mm -hmm. Shooting a shot, but it ain't going in, though, no, because he said, you know, I've been stopped messing with you thoughts. You got no patience left. My paper stretch just like a Laker before they break a sweat. Sign the greatest yet. You know uh, what I'm saying? You stretch out before you, you know, you do, uh, you, you get on the court, right? My paper is stretched, though. My paper is long. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting money out here. My greatest flex is that I made a milli. Feel like I'm Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. I like that line, right? Yeah. The producer Bangladesh made the beat a milli that Lil Wayne famously rapped on, right? Bangladesh. But I made a milli. I made a million dollars is what he's saying. We OSHA certified. He was like, you got to wear your vest. OSHA certified. If you ever had a, a, a job where you had to wear safety material, you know, glasses or a safety vest or something like that. That's what OSHA certified means. You know what I mean? You, you got to be in compliance with safety. He's all, but we, we got to wear special vests too out here in the hood, out here in the ville. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's too many homicides. Bulletproof vests. Yeah. A lot of sliding. They're good at making decks, man. They in the street sliding. With that, that is that is slang for they are actively violent in the street sliding. Making a murder people. But obviously a sliding deck too. It's a construction bar, right? Sliding deck. I'm older now, but still I'm cutting edge. I'm like a bayonet. <laughs> so he's referencing a bayonet, which is a rifle with a knife at the end of on the edge of the mm -hmm. rifle, right? But he's saying, you know, and it, it's and it'll cut you too. It's cutting edge. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? It'll cut you at the edge, right? But he's cutting edge. He's still I'm relevant. older, and he's older, just like a bayonet is, but I'm cutting edge. I'm still relevant. I'm still cutting edge, mm -hmm. innovative with flows and still pushing the culture forward. That's what I was a slick line. Only breaking bad in the lab. Thought y'all was making meth. Mm, it was tough. <laughs> breaking bad, you know, the breaking bad uh show and shit. That's the, the reference there that they were uh uh, selling dope and, and making dope and shit. You know what I'm saying? Making math. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But moving extra, you know, on songs, you know, studio steppers. You in the you in the uh, studio making songs and talking all this gangster shit on stomp songs, but you really ain't about that life. But going back to that line, that, that fake progressive and woke line, I think is where, I think that's where J. Cole shines lines like that, man. I like the shit, the shit talking lines, you know what I mean? Um, coming at your neck, you see the face of death and all those lines that's just more boastful. But I really like the lines that sort of show that he's paying attention to, you know, what's happening within the culture. Mm -hmm. I really feel like that's almost like his duty is to be like the one of the leaders of it to see when the shit is getting ridiculous and to sort of course correct it. I feel like lines like that, like this is what that's doing, right? It's kind of course correcting, like, okay, all right, all right, all right. And now, now we're getting out of hand with this shit. And like, like the whole, the, it's always something that's pure. Like with the whole idea of being woke, that was something that was in the black community before it became, yes. before it was on t-shirts. Yep. Being woke wasn't this sort of uh, get quick marketing, marketing scheme. scheme. And I just think that's kind of a shame. You know what I'm saying? You can look at rap the same way. It's just like, you know, something that started off so pure. You know, it happens to everything. Happened to rock too. And, and rooted in truth and rooted in reality. You know, people start seeing there's ways to get money. Then it becomes watered down. Then yep. it becomes a lick. And it, people are just doing it just for the sake of getting money. They don't really care about 
what it was uh, the foundation of it, right? So I think that's just what J. Cole addressed with that line, and I thought that that was real. It's probably one of my favorite lines of the song. And I thought he got busy, man. Yeah, man. I liked, I really like that verse from J. Cole, and I, I don't know what's going on with, uh, I don't know what the fuck, the fall off, it's a boy, whatever the fuck he's got going on with the next album. I can see that he's in mode. He's been rapping a lot. I've, I've yep. seen him on... Yep. Um, some features here. The sample, I think, by itself, isolated, is a dope sample, but you got to know what to do with yeah. that. That looping, no drums, nothing creative done with it to me. I'm just kind of, I've never been a huge yeah. fan of that, even though I've liked songs with looping patterns. I just think you need to add some pizzazz and, and make it your own. I think we're in an era now, rap has always had samples, but I think we're in an era now where you're not even trying yeah. to be creative with the sample. <laughs> it's just sample, and that's it. Like, yep. no no creativity with how you flip it like we used to do. Like, God damn. All right? So anyways, yeah, shout out to J. Cole. Shout out to Lil Yachty, man. I, I appreciate him at least pushing himself yeah. and, and trying to rap a little bit. I, I still don't think he's he really went in, but I, I appreciate the effort, at least, from Lil Yachty. So, yeah, man, um, you know, uh, give us more from Lil Yachty. If he, if he teams up with another rapper that we think is nice, you know, give us... <laughs> Yeah, not him by himself. That's it in the video. If you enjoyed that, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure y'all check out DefToRadio.com. That's our website. It's a great way to support the channel. The information for that will be in the description. I'm George. That's Ryan. Las Vegas. We out.